A very good evening and welcome to the 7 o'clock news, live from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, on the occasion of Eid al Adha, wishing him abundant health and happiness and many happy returns. His Majesty the King sent a similar cable to His Royal Highness, wishing him abundant health and happiness and many happy returns. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa on the advent of Eid Al Adha. His Royal Highness expressed good wishes to His Majesty the King, prosperity for the kingdom and its people and many happy returns for the Arab and Islamic nations. His Majesty the King sent a similar cable to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, wishing him abundant health and happiness and many happy returns for the Arab and Islamic nations. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Khalifa exchanged Eid al-Adha greetings via telephone with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud of Saudi Arabia. The leaders exchanged good wishes on the occasion and wished for continued progress and prosperity for the two countries' peoples as well as other Arab and Islamic nations. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Khalifa exchanged Eid al-Adha greetings via telephone with the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah al-Ahmed al-Jabbar al-Sabah. The leaders exchanged good wishes on the occasion and wishes for continued progress and prosperity for the two countries' peoples as well as all other Arab and Muslim nations. A telephone call was held between His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and Abu Dhabi Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, during which they exchanged good wishes on the advent of Eid al Adha. The leaders exchanged good wishes on the occasion and wishes for continued progress and prosperity for the two countries' peoples, as well as all other Arab and Muslim nations. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received a con congratulatory table from the Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamid al Khalifa, in which he prayed to the Almighty to bestow him with abundant health and bless him in carrying out his duties in all that benefits the kingdom. In response, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a similar cable to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, in which he thanked him for his noble sentiments, wishing the Kingdom, along with the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns. <laughs> Deputy of His Majesty the King and Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, held a telephone call with Abu Dhabi's Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE's Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. The two exchange good wishes on the advent of Eid al-Adha, praying the Almighty bestow on the two nations, as well as other Arab and Islamic nations, abundant blessings. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Honorary President of Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation, the BMMAF, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, received today at his office in Al Wadi Palace, National Coach Abdullah Al Doi, congratulating him on earning the Black Belt Certification Dan 8 in Taekwondo from the Sports World Federation, becoming only the third coach in the Gulf to earn this certification. His Highness noted that al -Doi's achievement reflects his keen efforts to develop and proliferate sports in Bahrain. He also commended the coach's track record of training and nurturing many talented and accomplished athletes in the Kingdom. They discussed methods for further developing combat sports in the Kingdom. For his part, Coach al -Doi expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness affirming that efforts exerted to support combat sports have contributed to developing them and achieving great results in continental and international participations, adding that he will work even harder to develop these sports even further. In response to directives from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to reduce traffic congestion across the roads network in Bahrain, Works Affairs Under Secretary of the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Ahmed Al Hayat, stated that the Ministry has completed the construction of a new exit to Zayed Town from Sheikh Salman Highway to the north of the driving school. The project aims to alleviate traffic congestion between new housing areas and other vital locations and is part of the construction of a single entrance and exit to Zayed Town from Sheikh Salman Highway. The project will also ease congestion at Isatown North intersection and reduce traffic along Isatown Gate. Works included levelling, protecting existing services, implementing ground channels for present and future usage, implementing a stormwater drainage network in low-lying areas, implementing two reclamation layers, paving works and installing signage and lighting. 
The Works Affairs Undersecretary explained the opening of the new exit to Zaya Town follows the opening of a single entrance in mid-July this year. In addition, the opening of the new exit coincides with the expansion of the lane headed to Sheikh Salman Highway, near the Ministry of Labour. The two projects, beside the Educational District Exit Project, are expected to improve traffic flow along Isa Town Gate Interchange and reduce congestion at peak hours. As part of revamp works, the traffic signal located at the northern entrance interchange leading to Isa Town area will be adjusted. The Ministry is implementing the change in coordination with the Traffic General Directorate. These projects are part of a larger plan launched by the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning to ease the congestion at the Isa and Salmabad gate intersections and will directly serve residents of Zaya Town and the roadways connected to the Ministry of Labour. The urgent projects are part of a larger plan to build a strategic road network which will cost $1.2 billion, funded by the Gulf Development Programme. The plan is intended to deliver major improvements to Bahrain's road network to accommodate urban expansion and an increase in vehicle numbers.